I have to admit, very sadly, that my own country, Estonia, is really faring much worse than anybody else. The uh, pay gap increases constantly, and the social studies in Estonia do show that in every profession, women earn less than men. It exists as a result of the deeply rooted and historically conditioned gender inequality. This is a heritage of our history uh, based on ignorance, trampling of human rights, etc. On the other hand, its very existence leads to exacerbation of these uh, uh, preconditions and uh, for equal work women get a lower pay they ha she has a lower purchasing capacity lower security and social benefits and she's poorer when she gets older uh, as you know uh, on average in Europe uh, women earn 18 percent less than men um, how is it measured? In fact, the, the indicator measures the difference between men's and women's pay based on hourly earnings across the economy. So it measures, in fact, it, it asks to the question, how much does a woman on average and a man get for an hour of work in the whole economy? So it's very important to understand uh, at least that uh, the gender pay gap or the indicator we use to measure it does not reply to the question how much discrimination, direct or indirect, is there in the labor market. The understanding of the world uh, from the man's perspective for both genders. This means uh, prevailing masculine paternalistic attitudes in the population. For example, 86% uh, say, uh, answer to the gender equality monitoring uh, study, that ensuring economic security of a family is the obligation of a father. Or women are happier if they can dedicate themselves entirely on family and children. Bulgaria is one of the countries where there is a dire need for an awareness campaign on these issues and for raising the issue as a burning, as an urgent issue before society so that it can be resolved because the fact is that it is not identified among the priorities does not make it any less serious problem. We can, we can tackle pay gap. We can tackle it in many ways and there are many practical ways to decrease pay gap. Um, and for that, we need, really, we need budget money, but we also need the very fundamental change in defining the productivity of services. We decided that we should increase the salaries of women, and especially those working in the nursing uh, professions. We organized a campaign, we met with several candidates, organized panels, and all of the candidates in the parliamentary elections uh, agreed that they would uh, do something about this discrepancy. The subject uh, of the gender pay gap uh, must not be underestimated because uh, discrimination in pay is uh, definitely a source for any further discrimination. So we could say that equality as such does start with equal pay. Because as long as a woman is dependent on a man financially, it is clear that um, she is uh, more tolerant to, towards certain things um, than she would be if she was independent. Finland, the situation is good. Women have already been actively participating in the labour market. Our childcare system is very good and this makes it possible for women to participate in the labour market. And women are not frowned upon if after a um, parental leave or maternity leave a woman comes back to the workplace. 
we are uh, committing very strong to gender pay gap, but at the same time, we have a double standard when we talk about maternity leave. And we still have member states in the Council and in the Parliament which are reluctant to go for 100% uh, paid maternity leave, which means that when a woman is not pregnant and not having a child, she is entitled to equal pay to a man. But when she becomes pregnant, and when she has, because of physiological reasons and medical reasons in many cases, to stay at home for whatever time is needed, then she's not entitled to recall treatment and she receives 70, 80 or 90% from the salary that she should have if she's not pregnant. There's a lot of debate related to collective bargaining. Should they be made binding or not? Should they apply to everyone or not. But practice in Bulgaria shows that where there's collective bargaining, especially in big firms, the uh, pay gap is small. Why? Because in this collective bargaining, the different positions, the different job descriptions, their content is clearly set. And for that job description, um, people are paid the same. The population in the EU is growing older. We try to find new employees and wish to increase the birth rate. I understand very well that a young woman who loses all of her salary or a part of it if uh, she gets pregnant will certainly consider how many children she wants to have. A solution to the problem that we do not have so many children in Europe is that we should value families and mothers. <laughs>